Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about how to design voltage driven bias circuit using Martisan software. So before going to see the simulation part, first we have to design the voltage driven bias circuit in theoretical. So this is the circuit of voltage driven bias. So before going to design the circuit, first we need to know what is biasing. So, biasing is the applying of external DC voltage to the transistor to work efficiently and produce an undistorted output signal. So, in this design, we are going to determine base voltage, emitter voltage, and collector current and emitter current. So, this is the transistor. So, DC 107. So, this is an MPN transistor. So, it has three terminals base, collector, and emitter. Here we have one collector resistance RC and the emitter resistance RE and we don't have the base resistance. In place of base resistance we have two resistors R1 and R2. So here the voltage is divided here. So we are going to find the node voltage that this need be by using Cavanian's theorem. Why this circuit is called as voltage divided by circuit means because of the voltage divided network that is R1 and R2 forms the voltage divided network. This voltage is used to bias the transistor. So it is called as voltage divided by a circuit. So for a calculation, first we are going to find the base voltage Vb. So by using Thevenin's theorem. R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VCC. For the circuit, for the given circuit, we are applying the 10 volt of power. That is voltage. So for a VB is equal to R2, we have the resistance value of R2 that is 5.6 kilo ohm divided by R1. In place of R1, we have 10 kilo ohm plus 5.6 kilo ohm into the VCC value is 10. So after calculation, we will get the VB, this base voltage is equal to 3.59. Next, we are going to calculate emitter voltage. So emitter voltage that is VE. So here, so here this point is this point is VE. Now we are going to calculate the VE by using this is the base voltage VB. So VB minus VE is equal to VE. So here the VB is 0 0.7 volt for the bipolar junction transistor. So V equal to VB minus VBE. So already we are getting VB is equal to 3.59. So 3.59 minus 0 0.7 is equal to 2.89 volt. Then we are going to calculate emitter current. So that is IE. So already we have the formula current I is equal to V by R. So here we are going to calculate the emitter current. So here the node voltage is VE. So we are going to calculate current that is IE is equal to VE divided by RE. So here I is equal to VE by RE. So emitter voltage that is 2.8 times divided by emitter resistance 560 ohm. So I is equal to 5.16 milliamps. Next we are going to calculate the collector current for this voltage reversing circuit. The collector current is almost equal to the emitter current. So IC is equal to I is equal to 5.16 milliamps. So in multisim software, we are going to observe these outputs. Okay, that is VB, VE, IE, and IC. So next we'll move on simulation part. So I'm going to minimize this window. Right, so this is the circuit we are going to design in a multisim software. So go to multisim software. So the, the virtual breadboard will open here. Here only we are going to design our circuit. For our circuit, we need one bipolar junction transistor. So go to place component. Component in component you have transistors in transistor it is VJT NPN name is PC one hundred seven so I am going to choose this transistor 
this BC one R seven. Then I need four resistors, right? So R one, R two, R C, R E. So I need four resistors. So place component. So group you have basic. In basic you have the resistors. So I'm going to choose that resistor. So four resistors I need. Then I need one power supply that is PCC. So it comes under sources. In sources that is power sources, you have PCC. I need one ground. It is also in sources. In okay. As these are the components I needed for this circuit design. Now I'm going to connect these components for creating a circuit. So I'm going to rotate this resistor. It's 90 degree clockwise. I'm going to rotate all the resistor. So this is resistor R1. I am going to connect this R1 resistor to the R2 resistor. Then I am going to connect this node to here. Then I am going to join this two resistor. I am going to connect this collector resistor to the collector terminal. I am going to connect the emitter resistor to the emitter terminal. Then I am going to connect this two resistance. Then the ground is connected to this. Node, then I am going to apply the supply to the collector. Sorry, I am going to connect the DC source to the collector terminal here. So, these are the circuit combinations for voltage shared biasing circuit. As I will design R1 value is 10 kilo ohm, so I am going to change this value. This is 10 kilo ohm, so 10. Okay. Then R2 resistance value is 5.6k. 5.6k. Then we have the value of R is equal to 560 ohm. So RC value is 1 kilo ohm. So it is also already risen 1 kilo ohm. Then the power supply VCC is equal to 10 volt. So, so these are the circuit designs as per our, as per as per our theoretical design. Now we are going to measure the node voltage and the current by using multimeter. In right side we have multimeter. The name is multimeter to calculate the node voltages and current. So here we are going to calculate this node voltage that is base voltage by using multimeter. So in multimeter we are going to measure the voltage. So the multimeter is connected with parallel parallel connection with a 5.6 kilo. So the positive terminal is connected to this node. The negative terminal is connected to the ground. Next, here we are going to calculate this node voltage that is emitter voltage. So we are going to connect this multimeter in parallel connection. So negative terminal is connected to the ground. Then here we are going to calculate the collector current. So we are going to connect the multimeter in series connection. So positive terminal is connected to the resistor end and the negative terminal is connected to the transistor end. Right? So here we are going to calculate so we measure voltage. Here we are going to calculate voltage. In this multimeter we are going to measure the current. 
that is current and so these are the calculation parameters we are going to measure by using multimeter so I am going to run this simulation the run so here that is, this is the base voltage that is 3.529 volt for our theoretical calculations so this is the theoretical calculation sorry theoretical the base voltage that is vb is equal to 3.59 so in solution we get the same value that is 3.529 volt right then the emitter voltage is v is equal to 2.89 so here it is the emitter voltage and it is the emitter voltage it is 2.845 it is nearly to the theoretical calculation then the collector current that is ic IC equal to 5.06 here, here the theoretical we are getting 5.16 so it is nearly equal to the theoretical calculations here the theoretical values is almost equal to the practical values observed from the Murchison software thank you